All is set for the day's activities. It is the day of the atonement sacrifice for the two-week-long Oshun Oshobo Festival 2013. Though the sacred groove seems deserted, one cannot but notice the impressive eerie edifices that dotes the landscape. Each statue symbolic and unique, similarly the temples. Conspicuously at the entrance is a UNESCO sign, a recognition of the sacred grove as a World Heritage Site in 2005. And the bridge that spans across the river. Moving to the Ataoja of Oshobo's palace, there is a fish pond that is said to have been in existence for over 200 years with a lone catfish that spiritually communicates with the king. The Aruba is usually a young virgin chosen by divination from the reigning king's household. The Aruba is unique in the sense that because it's the one that carries the atonement for the goddess of water, Oshun. But the unique thing is that she must be a virgin, a certified virgin. <laughs> Today, she carries the atonement sacrifice to be offered to the Oshun goddess, who is fondly hailed by her worshippers as Yeye Oshun. Faithfuls begin to arrive at the grove with some with containers of varying sizes to fetch water, which is believed to heal, restore, and cleanse. Side attractions for the day include a display and seals of traditional relics such as colorful beads, local fabrics, and wooden effigies, a memorial site called Aruba Circle with the statue of Aruba is erected in the middle, while at the grove, some consult with Ogun, the god of war and iron working, while others with the Oshun priestesses. The king's palace is not left out of the celebration. The air is buzzing with excitement, young men with canes preparing for the procession, beat drums at a high tempo. While the cultural troupe entertain and herald the welcome of dignitaries.
Many others, both tourists and worshippers, come for the offering. Zo was different demeanor. Some singing and dancing. Some focused with an intense look, others chatting excitedly. All was a goal to worship. Those with specific requests came with white doves as your shrew priestesses pray over it. And released a dove into the water. Meanwhile, some fetch water, others wash religiously in a bee to receive the blessings for the day. Here comes the Aruba. Taken into a secret chamber and accompanied by past Arubas for the final rites. It is pertinent to note the presence of dignitaries, such as the executive governor of Oshun State, Ogbeni Rao Faregbeshola. Chief Gani Adams, factional leader of the Odua People's Congress, OPC, all at the festival being hosted by the Atahoja of Oshugu. Finally, three young barefooted maidens emerge bearing the sacrifice in a calabash draped in white. The high priestess receives the sacrifice. <laughs> Offer some prayers while other priestesses chant the mantra in honor of the Oshun goddess. Then the rites take a dramatic turn. <laughs> It is indeed an exciting time at the festival. Well, on behalf of the Governor of the City of Washington, I want to especially appreciate everybody that is coming to the State of Washington to be part of this year 2013 Oshun Oshogo annual celebration. I know that when you get into Oshun, you will know that Oshun is really the state of the virtues that we are really in the home and we will show our gratitude to all of them for making Oshun their destination during this festival. Mm -hmm.